Hello, and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. Man, I bet you guys thought I forgot about RimWorld, but I am always thinking about rimming. I, wait. We are back on 2B2T in RimWorld here, and uh, I put a poll up just before I had to start my long January recording hiatus, um, asking if people wanted me to use the latest version of RimWorld that I bought off Steam because I absolutely had to buy it. Um, I love this game and I'm happy to be a part of it. Well, by which I mean happy to have paid for it. Did I trade with these people yet? It's been so long! <laughs> I don't actually remember what I've done. Um, or continue with what I've started. And the overwhelming majority said continue with what I've started. So, uh, I'm okay with that. The changes are nice, but they're not critical. It's not like there's massive bugs preventing me from getting anywhere. Um, and one of you specifically mentioned that I need to open the cryo crypto crypto says crypto crypto sleep casket casket. What is wrong with my mouth? The crypto sleep casket. I'm pretty sure I've been saying cryo sleep, and that's just from not touching it and seeing. Have I traded with you? Basic stuff. Components I need. Uh, cloth I have and can sell for money. Um, but I also kind of need, I don't need your crappy weapons, um, and that's a really nice bow and parka. So you know what? I don't want any of the things that you're selling right now. Nice! Okay. Looks like I'm doing good for food. I've got, uh, 17 meals. A couple of dead animals ready to be butchered. Visitors are leaving. Fine. Keith, Vector, and Dr. Zombie are all in good health and good spirits. And we are just, uh, we're cruising right along. So, what's next? I think the next thing I need to do... By the way, I think I've been messing this up. I think when you assign it for prisoners and medical, it means prisoners that need medical attention. So, for now, I'm gonna just have them be alternate. So, one will be medical only, one will be prisoners only. Um, but that's clearly a prison ward here. Uh, you don't need tables in medical centers. Um... Which means that what my main focus should be um, should be creating new rooms for permanent residents and creating a proper medical ward for uh, a hospital. Um, I like how I've been digging into the side here. That's a real good tactic. I like how I've kind of walled off the top. The bottom we're making progress on. Looks like Vector's putting the finishing touches on the main wall, which is excellent. We've got lots of wild game to hunt, so I'm not worried about food. Things are looking really well. I'm not uh, not too worried about stuff yet, but things will go bad quickly, <laughs> as I have recently learned in some of my uh, non-YouTube playthroughs. Um, I, I've upped the difficulty a bit. I've gotten a little better at the game, um, and things can just go to shit really fast. <laughs> so, what do I want to do? Let's focus... Uh, let's take a look at our stocks here. We've got 143 steel and uh, lots of silver, I know. Wood, plenty of wood, plenty of wood. So let's build... Oh, excuse me for still getting over a cold. It is February 2nd, uh, and I'm still a little on the sick side, and I'm hoping to recover before the live stream tomorrow. Um, but this video will probably go out after that, so this is in the past. What I'm looking at here, Pro production. We have a electric tailoring bench, a sculptor's table, a butcher table, and a stove. But what we do not have is, well, we can get a high-tech research bench. That's pretty awesome. But that's the only thing we don't have right now. The high-tech research bench will allow us to research some more difficult uh, topics. Do we have a crafting spot? Just a basic crafting spot I don't actually have. Or at least I don't see it right now. So I'm going to plop that right there next to the the stove. This is where we can make some real basic stuff, like some joints, tribal wear, shivs, club, bows, things that we might, you know, actually need. Fortunately, Dr. Zombie's got that real nice charge rifle. Uh, Vector's got a nice assault rifle. And Keith is rocking a club. Uh, that's probably because... Oh, he's a pacifist. He can't even attack. You don't even need this. Get rid of this. Can I... Yeah, incapable of violence. Drop it then. 
Uh, it's under gear, right? No, don't use the club. Well, Keith is a pacifist, so that's going to make things awkward when we get attacked. Um, but we're going to try to keep him out of harm's way. So, uh, crops. We've got our cloth, we've got our food, we've got our beer. We are probably researching brewing, that's correct. Although not a lot of time has been invested in that. And uh, our best researcher is, of course, DZ, who has been hauling shit. So, I think we've gotten the hauling pretty much in order. Let's reduce all of his tasks except for construct repair and research and uh, all right is that gate still in progress yep and we're gonna need to secure that up so let's build some oh, I'd love to get a turret out there but for starters let's build a few steel traps I like to line the walls with these because people usually come in along the side um, but the bandits do seem to get smarter it's like they remember where you put your traps, so they'll actually like wander in and out around them. That'll be more than enough for now. First couple raids that come from the south, uh, we should have no trouble uh, fighting off. Alright, let's speed things up and see how they go. Uh, it's going to be bedtime soon anyway, so we're going to want to speed through the night. Yep, there we go. Vector and Keith are on their way. DZ is a little unhappy because he's not Deep's master. Can you be Deep's Master? I think I recall that being an issue before. Uh, yeah, you need to be better at taming animals <laughs> before you can handle a warg, even if he came down in the spaceship with you. A factory worker named Joshua Feeps Heap. Feeps Heap calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates. Let's offer him safety. I believe that worked out before. Actually, no, I think this is the first time this has happened, in this playthrough at least. Um, so he's going to be rushing in, and then he'll be attacked um, by the pirates. We need everybody to wake up, and Vector is awake. And those raiders are going to be following him in the... S oh, no, they're not. They're going the other direction. That's actually good. I think I've got a better defendable position from up top. So let's send Vector up there. We're going to give Dr. Zombie a few more seconds of sleep because he'll get unhappy if he wakes up early. But you know what? Keith is awake. Dr. Zombie got to bed late, though. We're going to have to wake him up. He needs to be up there. Let's put him right behind the turret and let's see if we can uh, maybe take one of these bastards alive and get two out of this. Okay, we're going to be a little late getting to the front lines here. Good thing we got the turret. Nice. Couple of hits. Still up. And he's dead. Chris is coming. And uh, Chris died. And Blizzard's running for it. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. But I will send them up there to chase him. Looks like we just got two dead ones. That's alright. That's because our, our guns are so damn good. You uh, usually capture them with bows and other garbage. Oh man, they were just behind him. He might be slow enough that they can catch him. Okay, we're gonna have to try for like right maybe here. And probably gonna miss him. Eh, yep, Vector almost got a shot off there. Alright, well that's fine. We got uh, a new recruit out of it. Feeps. And Feeps needs a bed. We were just talking about that being important. So let's start building uh, trying to let's try to keep buildings a little bit broken up here uh, and what's actually going to be best is that I not have a single lane hallway because when I get more people and they have to run in and out of there it's going to be a problem it's going to hold them up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like that and I'm going to clear out let's just clear out this little area here so it's nice and square and let's put a wood wall here and down to here and over. And that, of course, is too big for one person. So we will split it into two. Perfect. That'll be a good way to start. 
And we also want a air conditioner in the uh, corner there. And that'll be hooked right up to the power, so that won't be a problem. We're going to want lights in each room. And we're going to want beds. Now, I could go ahead and build the single bed, but eventually... Ooh, Labrador Retriever has joined. Awesome, so we got a couple free pets. Eventually, we're going to have people who want to sleep together uh, that are a couple or become a couple while they're here. And I'll put another bed just like that once they mine out that area. So, in order to get that work done a little bit faster... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we will bump everybody's construction up to one, just for the time being. Alright, so what does Phoebes do? Well, let's make him a firefighter and a patient. Uh, he looks like he really is interested in being a doctor, although he has no skill in it. So we'll bump that to one. Everybody else's doctoring is pretty low, too, so hopefully he'll take off. Um, we'll set to four anything else, including Hunt. I do have to provide him with a ranged weapon, but if he can use one... Yep, not great at it, but before you go anywhere, grab that bow. <laughs> he was about to go help building, which is great, but uh, I want him to be armed. Okay, back to this tab here. So what is he good at? Good at construction and repair, that's fine. You can certainly help out. He's good at smithing, tailoring, and crafting, which is great. He is the best one that we've got so far. So I'm going to actually bump those up to a 2 for him as well. And, uh, in fact, I'll bump his tailoring up to a 1. Do we have any bills for that yet? I mean, yeah, we do. We do need some some new uh, cl equipment, uh, clothing and such. So he should probably take over that as soon as this construction is built. Or even earlier, since it's it's also a one. He can choose to do whichever one he feels like at the time. Yep, there he goes. Grabbed some cloth and went over to it. All right, that was quick. We got the building built. And uh, I do need a vent, though. I actually probably should have put that down earlier so I didn't waste time. Uh-oh, Dr. Zombie's hungry. He's pigging out on food. Final straw was simply that he felt bad. Observed a corpse. Yeah, we got to get those uh, buried. Uh, I've got plenty of graves. It's just a matter of putting someone on hauling. Also, it's hot. Uh-oh. Mad animal. A local alpaca. I'm not too worried about that. Kill some other shit while I'm here. Alright, that alpaca's gonna bite it as soon as he gets close enough to somebody with a gun. Okay, here comes Vector. Ooh. Vector's hunting the rat. Let's not hunt the rat. Let's, uh... Oh, crap! We're being raided! Ugh. Everybody's attacking us at once. Uh-oh. Okay. That alpaca might not be a big deal from a distance, but up close it's a problem, and we're being attacked immediately by these two tribesmen. So, I think it's time. Dr. Zombie is, of course, too busy feeling bad for himself and eating, and Keith is a damn pacifist, so suddenly, like I said before, things got dangerous. Let's move Feeps to help out Vector with his alpaca problem. Oh, thank God the warg is helping, too. Alright, that's good. Now, two of you guys need to get to the front lines up here. Oh shit, there's a gun on the ground. I should have grabbed that instead of the bow. Oh, I can grab it when I get close. Feeps, grab the survival rifle. Rifle, Vector, get behind the sandbags. It's gonna be too late, but hopefully that uh, turret will help us out again. Oh yeah, scared him off a bit. That's right. We've got guns. Oh no, he's attacking our Labrador Retriever. Alright, we gotta move closer. Let's uh, reposition up here. We don't want our dog to die. Sassy! No! No, from Homeward Bound, it's Sassy! Well, sassy was the cat, though, so I'm confused. Alright, now we've got a problem. Okay, we're alright. And he's dead. The problem here is uh, that the turret was going to be shooting at us as well, but we managed to down him just in time, and unfortunately, again, we killed them both, so we don't get any new recruits. Did Sassy die? Nope, Sassy's alive. Phoebs, rescue Sassy. Nope, can't. Don't have an animal bed. 
think we're going to need one. I think we can build one with cloth. I think we have enough cloth. So let's put two in there. And we need people to be assigned things. So, Keith, I don't want you cleaning dirt. I want you building one of those. Vector, you don't feel well. I'd like you to go get some rest. Feeps. Ah, uh, what the hell, Feeps. Strip that person. <laughs> oh, man. I did not set a timer, so I hope that I uh, don't ramble on too long, or this may be an extra long episode. Some of you guys don't mind that. But I found that after about 15 minutes, uh, I tune out most videos, and I expect that most people are like me. 10 to 15 minutes is that sweet spot between not too short, not too long. All right, Vector's hurt. He's probably been bitten by an alpaca. Yeah, bruised. He should be fine, but it'd be nice to get somebody up there to tend his wounds. And uh, Feeps is doing some bullshit, so he's the one who wants to be a doctor. Start doctoring, asshole. There you go. Got that Glitter World medicine. That's going to be good stuff. It's like high-quality morphine. Okay, cargo pods. What did we drop? Ooh, drugs. <laughs> Flake. All right, Flake is bad news. I mean, if somebody goes on a binge and starts taking it, they can really damage themselves. They can get addicted to it. You don't want that. What I'd like to do is sell it to somebody because uh, it's worth some money. All right, Vector's going to heal it off. Feeps, Dr. Zombie's going to be eventually back to normal after he binges on some meals. Somebody tended to Sassy? <coughs> yes, good, excellent. All right, we're going to pull through this one with no problems here. And a caravan's coming. Perfect. If somebody goes and grabs that flake, we might actually be able to sell it to them before too much... Uh, time has gone by. I'm actually going to have to have to send somebody out there to grab it, though. All right, before you go to sleep, definitely. Where was it? It was, uh... Where'd the flake drop, guys? Do you remember? <laughs> I think it was... Hmm. Well, I thought it was over here somewhere, but now I don't see it. Somebody is screaming at me right now, going, It was over there, you dumbass. It was obvious. Why don't you remember? Oh, the humanity. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's actually really close. Get that flake. Before you go take a nap, you need the flake. All right, Vector. He's putting on a hat, having a meal, and then he'll probably head to bed as well. Dr. Zombie's finally back to normal. He's just sleeping it off. Once you eat a lot, you sleep a lot. Everybody knows this. Feeps, you're in the dark, but at least you've got a roof over your head, right? It's uh, really hot, too, so he's not going to be happy about it, but that's okay, because in the morning, we're going to handle that. We're going to get the uh, cooler up and running. We're going to get the uh, vent complete. We're going to sell some flake to these wandering weapons traders, maybe buy something good off them. And that's all going to happen in the next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching Dr. Zombie on 2B2T RimWorld Solo Survival. I'll see you guys next time.